Hi, my name is Matyas. Let me show you how you can use Pingro to speed up creating web pages. Um, let's start with a blank page. And here on the left side we have various elements, bootstrap elements that we can just drag and add to the page or to the tree. And now we put container and row and we can just use action menu to add column. We could also drag it uh, from the library. And then we just duplicate it three times and let's add Jumbotron to the page and go to properties and say no we don't want it to be full width and of course we also need navigation bar that's it and uh, yellow color means that the element is collapsed so we cannot edit individual children only the whole element but if we uncollapse it then we can change the children elements as well. Okay, let's put some design on the page. Uh, changing the appearance is done through CSS rules. Uh, Pinegro doesn't support uh, inline styles because it's not really a nice habit to use them. So let's add a rule. Uh, for our font to make it more fun for headlines. Here is a more complex page. And again with styling, here are all the styles which are defined. We changed the design of the page as rules. And if you click on the name of the rule, you can edit the properties. And for example, here you see we used a variable. And variables are defined here. And they let us easily change the design of the page just by changing the values of these variables. So now let's make more space. And let's check how the page looks on different screen sizes. Um, and the best way to do it is to use the multi-page editing. So we will duplicate this page also with mirroring. So all the changes done to the page will be reflected to all its copies. And then we select different screen sizes. And now all the changes we do, like the grid layouts or, or editing content on the, on the main page, they get automatically reflected to its copies. And we can open more pages which share the same style sheet. And now when I make the changes, for example, to the variables, these changes are, we see them in real time on all the pages that are open. And I will use style sheet manager to duplicate the style sheet and attach the old one and attach a copy to the page and then I go and I, I change it so let's change the picture and we can again use the variables to change the colors of the fonts and now we have two style sheets that we can easily add detach from any page that we want editing content is simple just double click and we just another another way to do it is by editing the code directly here I select edit code and again all, all changes are done in real time and sometimes uh, it makes no sense to edit stuff through, through graphical user interface. Then we can just go into code mode. And with PineGrow we can open any page from the internet. Uh, it doesn't have to be bootstrap page. And use the same tools to play around with layout, styles and content of the page. So much for now. I invite you to download the app and 
play it with it and if you like it or you like the direction where this is going the best way to support the development is through buying a copy today thanks and have a great day bye bye